What's up, chat? How's it going? I'm like a millennial YouTuber now. I got my, I'm carrying the microphone around. Uh, we're playing new Solar Watch stuff. Um, I'm about to hop in with my opponent. Just set up the uh, the uh, table, and I should post that I'm live. Mm -mm -mm. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Hope everybody's ready for some new detachments. I got two new detachments today. Let's go. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. So I'm not really, f I'm not fully familiarized with all the stuff I gotta do. I know how, I know secondaries and such. All right. But that, that's roughly about it. So for tactical objectives here at the bottom of my screen, do I just hit F to flip them? Yep. Yeah, if you're playing tactical. Um, do you have any uh, idea of uh, the kind of mission you want to play? We can do something. We can do something pretty simple if you're... Uh, I am not familiar with all the mission leader. types, to be honest. All right. Yeah, I think uh, we just hit A. That is probably the simplest one. So we can just lock in that. Um, And I'll load in a map. All right, good deal. What's good with A? Uh, one, two, four, six, seven, eight. I'll just roll and go down the line. Five. So that would be layout seven. Beesh. Oh, let me get the uh, lists in the robot here, folks. Mm -mm. I thought about running this as Annihilation Legion instead of Awakened Dynasty, but Annihilation Legion almost exclusively applies to the melee units, and I prefer the I I, I like the shooting phase. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think that's that's generally Necron's like deal. Their uh, their melee is okay, but they they mostly shoot you to death. Oh, if you ever run into the Butcher 20, ask him about how the how his duel with the Void Dragon went. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, a little worried about Mr. Void Dragon. I don't, am I missing a Kaladius? What just happened? At least has three Grav Tanks in it, but uh, somehow New Recruit has only given me two. Oh, he had Inquisitor Draxus as well. Yeah, she's really good in Custodies. Um, they give her Wound Rerolls, and she's like a million attacks. Uh, yeah, one of my Kaladius Grav Tanks disappeared. I'll just copy-paste a new one. Hopefully it works. Okay, that's fine. Cool! All right, let's do this thing. Let's Let get her pull done. Out the Void here. The That's what I call the dice remover that my buddy gave me. Oh, sure. I'm going to pull out some D3s that's for awesome. reanimation protocols. A little freezy today. Macron's about to go lagging. supernova. I don't know what happened here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Crown's in a rough spot. Okay, chat. Okay. <laughs> um, hell yeah. All right. Um, so the, I'm playing the new the new Grotzmus detachment that just came out today. Um, so oh, are, yeah. are you familiar? Oh, you on that. Oh, sick. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm playing the list I I made for that video. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, all the big all big robots are plus two move and plus one to advance and charge. And then all the oh yeah, I saw that. Everyone gets all the uh, tanks get better as they bracket. So as we um uh as we they start with plus two OC, and then if they lose that, they'll get rerolls if you shoot if you do, do damage to them. Um, yeah, and then uh, Kyria Draxus hangs out with the with the custodian guard, so they get wound rerolls when they're touching an objective, and then can shoot twice, and so she can shoot her guns a bunch of times and then get rerolls on it and it's great and that's what's up um right. cool uh sh should we roll uh attacker and defender i thought we were gonna roll for deployment first yeah that's what that means uh, okay gotcha yeah okay i rolled a two all right so i got a three um will the emperor provide fair dice today or will Trevi be fed to the Chaos God of Rolls? 
More at 11. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and um, let you deploy first, because I don't have anything that goes in the front. Um, I will, I think, strategic reserve two grav tanks. Oh, this is why my grav tank didn't appear. It thought it was Sister of Silence. Um, I'll strategic reserve two grav tanks, I think. Okay, I've got one Doomsday Arc deployed. Go ahead and start. Cool. And then uh, my Witch Seekers are going to hang out in my Rhino. Uh, so they're going to get transported. Boop. Um, All right, then. That's what's up. So I will drop... Uh, oh, and I'll, I'll note... So one of my Telemons will have a 5 plus Feel No Pain. Um... Which I'll just put in their tooltip because it's not in uh, yet, new recruit yet, so yellow scrub doesn't have it. Uh, and then the other one is uh, plus one strength attacks and damage. So one one tank's good and one punch is good. How do you add that to the tooltip right there? Uh, if you right click on them and you can see all their their stuff, you could just click on the text like on the tooltip and then you can edit it. Oh, okay, cool. I, I've this is like yesterday was really my first time using TTS for anything. Oh, sick. And also, essentially, my first games on table on here. It's so much easier playing on here than tabletop. Yeah, not not having to like set up all the terrain stuff is huge, <laughs> for sure. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and put a Telemon Dreadnought front and center, I think. All Do right, I I'm going. To, yeah. I'm gonna deploy a squad of Immortals. Sick. They have the Plasmancer and Royal Warden with them. Cool. What the hell? Okay, they all bunched up. Hold on. If you press... Yeah. There it is. There you go. I'm going to set them up in this building, and they're touching the objective. Mm-hmm. If um, you are holding a model, uh, or a, a, a group of models, and then you press escape, they bounce back to where they were, too. So if you ever, like, move up, like, accidentally pick something up you didn't want to, you can press escape, oh, the and they guy, just go back. The guy I played with showed me something It was essentially... Screening them out so that they so that you can't deep strike. Mm -hmm. uh, what what is coherency? It's about two. It's inches? two inches. Yep. Um, if okay, you have yeah. seven models in the unit, which you should, because you have two characters, right? then uh, they have to be within two inches of two two other models in the unit. So the like the guy on the end would just need a friend. Okay, I think that's about good right there. Cool. Yeah. So for th just check something. So for this, okay. you'd need, um, because you have seven models, you'd need two models. This guy would have to have two models next to him. Everyone else will, by definition, because they have a guy on each side. But the guys on the end just need, like, one extra person, basically, because the unit is large. If you are six or yeah, below yeah. models, you don't have to do that. But seven models or more, you have to. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, damn, I hit the wrong button. Ta I hit the time pass button or whatever that was. Oh, sure, that's just for the clock. Okay, in that case, I'm going to put that Royal Warden right there. Perfect. Looking good. All right. Um, I am going to just throw these Custodian Guard over here, I think. Is there a universe where I push them in the middle? Meh. Um, yeah, let's just do an easy thing. We'll just do prosecutors in the back. They're going to hold my home objective for the entire game and call it a day. And then this mission is, um, if your battle line units take an objective, so your immortals, uh, and they have it at the end of your turn, then you get a point. It's called raise banners, uh, once for each objective. And then the main objective is take and hold. So we get five points at the start of our turn for each objective we control up to three. Gotcha. I'm going to set down my other squad of immortals. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting neck ground list. I like all the destroyers for sure. I think it's a little light on the ground because probably too many characters, but we'll see. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know. I think it depends on what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I'm going to put down 
the rhino. I think here. Yeah, that seems fine. Cool. So this uh the unit inside here has scout, so because it's a dedicated transport, the rhino gets scout too. Gotcha. Thank you. I'm going to pop down a squad of destroyers cool. with the Locust Lord. How's everybody's weekend, by the way, Chant? They're the heavy destroyers with the Gauss, Gauss destructors. It's gonna be good against me. I've just got big robots. I need to put them down right there-ish. Chill weekend. If their guns are over the line, does that technically count? Um, yeah, it it does technically. For some reason, I don't really know why. When you measure, you always measure from the base if you have one. Yeah. Uh, but they said that like a extra parts of the model can't go over the deployment zone, so I don't know. You just use them for line of sight is the only thing that those the guns are good for. Uh, all right, let me. Um. Let me place. Oops, I got a bunch of stuff written down here in a note card so I don't forget shit for the Necrons because I did that last game. Oh, sure, yeah. Veil of Dark. If I go here, if you put Scorpix behind there, it's like a really easy charge. Which I'm not into. I don't want to be charged. Um. So I'll just put the Skeletus in the back over here, I think. Is that right? All right, then I'm going to yeah. put down a squad of just regular Locust Destroyers. How was the RTT? It was good. It was fun, actually. I was, uh, I don't know. My The dice were, like, super weird. My Where first should games. they go? It was unfortunate because... Um, right there. In my first couple games, the dice were so, like, like just like pants on head insane um that they sort of like colored the they i, I, or, I was like just really tired <laughs> by the by the third game um and unfortunately that meant that i played really poorly uh all right where well, this guy's gonna go I don't know if I really want to trade shots with the demons there. I don't think I win that fight all by myself. I need some friends. So I think that I will. Clarice moves 10. If I poke myself here, I could shoot into the middle if I want to do. Or if I am on this side. We could peek out if I wanted to as well. I think that's what we do. So I think I go like here and just make it so that you have to be on this side of this line to see me because of the ruins. Yeah, a similar thing happened last time with the guy I was playing against with his graph tank. Cool, we'll go there. Let me see here. I'm gonna pop down my other Doomsday Arc. Really like the new detachments. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I am him. I am right about. Really impressed by them. I think that there were a couple. There's a couple duds for there sure. Wish. But uh, and cool. he is not in the building, so he can't be shot at. Cool. Yeah, the um, Doomsday Arc. Uh, halt, he uses his hull for measurement, so just make sure that you don't extend over it at all. So like that. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah, I see it. Thank you. Yeah, It's easy on TTS because the shadow is directly below your model, so you can basically see where their, like, outline is on the table. So you can see if yeah, that's touching yeah. the ruin, then um, uh, it's no good. All right, let's put down the custodian guard. They're going to custode their way over here, I think. Uh, and we will lead with Kyria Draxus because she has the coolest guns. Do something like that. Back to you. Yeah, so my first my first game, I like hard oh, committed locust destroyers into a tyrannid by a locust list. lord. Um, and any unit led by a character gets a plus one to the hit roll. Hell yeah! And I'm gonna put them right about. 
So I like I like ran into this Tyranid list. I killed my opponent's Hive Tyrant. He let me charge there. his Hive Tyrant on turn two, and I was like, okay, well, this is going well. Um, and then my Lord of Change shit the bed, did four damage in two shooting phases. Um, not in each shooting phase. Between two shooting phases, shot for four damage. Uh, and I... Um, And I failed to kill a Tyrannifex. The Tyrannifex turned around and one-shot the Lord of Change. You might hear my fan in the background going off. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I got my heat on over here, too. Um, I, I just put the Galatas over there. All right, then I'm going to pop down Squad of Scorpex, with, led by Scorpex Lord. Uh, uh, and then... Uh, you want me to declare which enhance, what units have what enhancements? Um, is it in their, uh, their tooltip? Yeah, so he's it got the stealth one, tooltip. right? And yeah, then the, lo realm the locust lord has the bale. Cool. Alright, then is that everything for you? Can I just deploy everything else? Uh, no, I still got two more dreadnoughts. Ah, okay. Uh, um, I will put a Gatlidus here, who I think should be hard to see. Cool. We'll go there. All right, then I'm gonna put down other squad of score packs. Gonna put them down right about there-ish. Sweet. Not within the building. All right, uh, I'll just put my my big punchy Telamon in the middle here, and I'm done. All right, then I'm going to put down my Canoptic Reanimator right here. And the Catan Shard of the Void Dragon right about here. Love it. Cool. All righty. Um, and you're playing tactical objectives, you said? I have no idea how to really do objectives. My friend had to explain it both times. Oh, sure. Yeah, so if you take the two ones that say tactical objectives and then you flip them over in your hand over here, and then yeah, you click over. click lock in secondaries, and then uh, it sets up your deck for you. There you go. Okay, got you. Do I draw secondaries, or do we wait till we'll see who goes first? Uh, yeah, it happens at the start of your turn, so we got to really go first now. Okay. Roll to four. Hey, me too. All right, try that again. Two. Three. All right. I guess it's me first. Already. Cool. Uh, good luck and stuff. Give me a handshake. Again. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck. Um, I will click start game. Do you have any scout units? I do not. I do. I'll just scout with my rhino. Whee. Um, and then I will draw my cards. Two cards. Click uh, sabotage. Overwhelming force. Uh, overwhelming force is unfortunate on turn one. Uh, I could try to score it, but I probably wouldn't. And then I would get shot by a Doomsday Arc and die. So, like, it seems bad. <laughs> um, so let's do some movement. Um, I will... Mm -mm -mm -mm. I did draw Sabotage. Get my deployment in real quick. I could do Sabotage here, I guess, which... It's probably fine. Um, all right. This contemptor is going to roll in advance. He's the he's the hero we need right now. Let's go. Big money. Four. And I get plus one to advance rolls. So I go five, and he's moving eight because of the enhance of the detachment. So he goes thirteen inches. I think he's just going to, to just tuck up in this little corner here. I think that's what. Please he does. poke your head. It. Please go into that building. <laughs> And we'll go just behind the building. How's that? I'm waiting for I'm waiting for you to get in range of them Gauss destructors. Yeah. Uh. Thirteen. So we could go farther back. In case it matters. Uh, which I think is probably better. Okay. Good job, team. Um. Let's advance. Um, 
Oh, I guess I have to declare two if I want anybody to go through walls. I don't think I do. Not, not this turn. We'll do that next turn. Um, let's advance the... Um, this Galatus Dreadnought. Three, two. Oh, I got a quick two. question for you. Yeah, what's up? The Catan oh, has it. an ability that is... Let me pull it up here. All right, I'm going to read it to you. Nec Necrodermis. Each time an attack is allocated to this model, half the damage characteristic of that attack. Mm -hmm. So if I make, so if you make one, at one attack at strength one, what hap at one damage, what happens if that goes through? Uh, oh, you take one damage. It rounds up. Ah, so, okay. Thank you. Yeah, you always, and, you always my take buddy one. Buddy, weren't sure about that. Yeah, it's always at least one. And I have a bunch of like three damage, so you'll take two from those. And then that. Okay, good. It's mathematically the same as just reducing damage by one. Um, all right, so there's a little gap here where I can hide. Um, I'm going to attempt... Let's do an advance with the... What do, I have to, what do I have to roll to get like into this little thing? Actually, if I, I'm just going to copy-paste real quick for a little... A little look-see. I'm over here. I don't think I can hide, actually. I think I'm too fat. I am too fat. All right. We're not, we're not going to play too aggressively, then. Um, so, big... Uh, just, like, punchy McPunch face over here. We'll just wander over to where he doesn't get seen past that line. So he's just going to wander over here. Um, that's probably fine. And I will keep my Feel No Pain guy there. And he's going to attempt to sabotage. Uh, actually, he used to be outside the deployment zone. So we'll do it with this guy then. Um, so he's going to do my action sabotage. Uh, I'll complete it at the end of your turn. Um, and I'll get three points if I do. Gotcha. Um, if I run the custodian guard up here, so I don't need the deployment line anymore, then can I be seen from the Doomsday Arc? Uh, it would be difficult. Okay, so they're gonna go into the corner here. They're gonna hide themselves. Please, sir, don't shoot me with the dunes there. Just consider all the windows closed and all the outlines solid. Um, so the windows are just, like, as they are. Yeah. But this thing, there's, like, a corner here, so you'd have to, like, you can see them if you are here, but you'd have to get all the way across in order to see them. In which case, I don't yeah. know, that seems fine to me. <laughs> Would you like to meet my friend uh, Telemon Dreadnought and my other friend the other Telemon Dreadnought? <laughs> I'm more interested in the grav tanks. Yeah, for sure. All right, so that should be good. Um, uh, I will put Draxus, I think, in the front, though. They're cool guns. Bloop. All right. Um, the... <sighs> Rhino. Uh, I don't feel, I don't greatly feel the need to like disembark out of it right now. I guess you could veil in this corner. I don't, I don't really know what that gets you. But you could do it. Um, don't give me ideas now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the Rhino on the objective. I think I will disembark and just use it, do a little screen. Because isn't that the primary mission as well? You need to have a battle line on the objective. Um. Uh, that's this. That's the mission rule. the mission. The, yeah, the the mission special rule. Which I guess I should maneuver that guy for. It's just my custodian guards are my only battle line yet. So they're the only guys that are going to do it for me. The the witch seekers. Oh, are. I thought the I thought the sisters were also battle line. No, there's a detachment that makes them battle line, but as a um. Uh, as as normal, they aren't. Ah, okay. I'm not really familiar with custodies. All I know is they're a bitch to fight just, uh, with their two up save. Advance these ladies. Six. Okay, here we go. A, a million inches. So let's disembark like here and then advance. Um, and I guess we'll go into this thing in case I need to do an action next turn. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, and what we're going to do is be a, an inch outside the edge of the wall, so the Scorpex gets stuck if they try to charge me. Bloop. 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 
Uh, so she'll be here and then go 12. Something like that. Cool. Okay. That's what we're doing. Uh, Grav tank is gonna... Again, I don't really want to trade shots with the DDAs right now. So I'll like go here. I'll pay to rotate and just sort of hit chill like this, I think. Okay there. No, I can technically see a small sliver of you. It's a little dangerous. Okay, now you're good. Boop. I think that's where we'll end up. Yeah, I just don't want to be past this line. Um, mm, 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 the prosecutor's real advance. One inch. Okay, cool. I'll just bubble out. <sighs> And the Calidus is fine where she is, I think. She's just going to hop up and down every turn for the rest of the game. Okay, uh, that is my turn. So my actions being attempted by this Dreadnought. Um, I'm going to discard Overwhelming Force because I can't score it this turn. And if I discard a card at the end of the turn, then I'll get a command point, which I will. And then I'll pass to you. That is your go. All right, then I'm going to draw my secondaries. Cool. Okay, looks like I have Cole the Horde. I just need to read this. I've never seen. I've never yep. really done the secondaries. At least here. Yeah, that one will um, discard itself. The infantry is destroyed. Yeah. Um, so it's infantry that is uh, of a starting strength or starting wounds of twenty five or, or twenty or twenty five or more. Um, I don't have any of those. So the top club, the, the top sentence is that you can discard it and draw a new one because it's not scoreable. Boom. There you go. Okay, let me see here. I'm going to read extend. Tuvan, we're playing ground floor, close to the line of sight. So, deployment zone and one or more. The beauty of TTS and, uh, is that we can build the I mean, ruins however we want. Achievable. Yeah, you can definitely do that. Shooting phase, one unit from your army, end of your turn. Within... Okay, that one, probably not possible, but I'm going to. Yeah. If I discard it, would I have to pay a CP? So you can pay a CP to discard it and get a new one, or you can um, wait until the end of the turn and discard it and just get a CP. But I'm you won't. You don't get to a new one then. Yeah, extend battle lines is already a really good one, and the command points are really valuable early game anyway. Okay, so would this one right here count as no man's land? Yep, exactly. So as long as you okay, hold this one it. and that one, then you score. That's it. That's an easy one. That's a good one for turn one. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, so the yeah, the, the cool thing about TTS is because we can create the assets, right? We can build the ruins however we want. So the ruins are just as they are. We don't have to do any special house rules for them because I, I roll a one for advance, right? This one dice. Yep, one d six. Okay, let me see here. They have movement of five, Oosh. and that's a five. I only needed nine, so I'm in. We're going. Let's go. Uh, no timers today, because this is a casual game. Usually I use, I'll use timers if uh, my opponent wants to, objective. or if it's on a tournament game. But uh, we don't need to for a for a So game. I have su succeeded in the secondary. There you I go. Think. Yep. At least, does it apply? Do I need to hold it till the end of the turn? Or it yeah, it is till the end of the turn. But like, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I can't. I can't do anything to stop you. So you're fine. Well, you could if you charged. Um. Uh, yeah, but this one scores at the end of your turn. So, like, if I had some sort of weird reactive thing where I could move during your turn, I could stop it. Yeah. But I don't, so you're fine. All right, then I'm going to... The Catan really has a sucky move characteristic. Yeah, a lot of people play them in Hyper Crypt Legion because they uh, then they can teleport around. That helps them a lot. But they're it's just, like, they're slow and tanky. That's, yeah, that's I their, use it to essentially discourage... I essentially use it as discouragement so you don't try and bring vehicles up. Yeah. Because it is mainly made for anti-vehicle. I'm sense going to bring to up these Locust Destroyers. Movement of eight. Right there should be about okay. And the Heavy Destroyers. Gonna move eight this way. Score packs are fine there. Bortles going to leave those there. Score packs, if I move them into the building, you still can't see them. 
Um, probably not, because if even if you're touching, this wall will block line of sight. So the only way I could see them is if I was like right over here, basically. How's that look? Can you see them? Uh, um, I would have to be probably like here to see them, which I don't think I'm gonna be. So I basically no. Okay, then they're gonna stay right there. The Locust Destroyers, I'm going to have them do a risky thing. Okay, they've got that line of sight covered. Actually, I moved about, what was that, four inches, five inches? Yeah, five inches. So I'm going to move up a further... Th ah, damn it. i going to move up go. a further three. Sure. Okay, yeah, that should be good. If anyone wants to peek their head around. Well. Ah, eh, fuck it, I'll leave it. Doomsday arc. Don't forget I have all these grab tanks in reserve, too. Yep. Okay, I have that doomsday arc stay right there. And the canoptic reanimator is going to move with it, so it's within three for re its reanimation protocol rules. Mm -hmm. This Doomsday Arc is going to stay put. And that's it for the movement. I do not believe I can shoot anything. I'm trying. I'm trying to make it tough. Yeah, you can't shoot any I can't shoot anything. Cool. But, wait, hold on a second. Let me just check something for the Plasmancer roll, because I know they have something. Oh, yeah, for their little uh, lightning bolt. Pew. Living Lightning. Yep. Okay, it has to be visible. Yeah. Never mind. Okay, then, so that's it for me. And I gain... Is many? the keyword... Pra is the Fatal Flaw the keyword that it doesn't affect Harpies? Is that where we're going with this shit? <laughs> five victory points, it looks like. Yep, five for you. And then I'll get three at the end of your turn, because I have completed my sabotage. Do I discard it now? Yeah, just click discard. And then you want to discard the other one to get a CP, yeah. Okay. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Um, and if you... And... Yeah. If you just right-click that, there you go. Sweet. Round two. Um, oh, before I do anything else, uh, end of your turn, I'm going to pick up my Calidus Assassin and put her into reserve. Pew. So she can deep strike. Have fun with that. She's just going to pop up and down depending on what my secondaries are in case I have to do something with her. Um, here's my draws. Engage in all fronts. Behind enemy lines. Okay, wow. Alright. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, I think behind enemy lines turns into a command point. <laughs> not, not a great draw this turn. Uh, engage in all fronts. We will certainly score a small number of... Oh, that's old engage. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's engage in all fronts. There we go. So I have to get into all the table quarters, so we can do it with these ladies if I want to. Um, I also am probably going to yeet a bunch of dreadnoughts at you this turn, so I think we'll call that plan A. Um, Stay arcs are hungry. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Actually, wonder if I can. I don't think I can score it with this guy. I think he's too fat. Even if I touch the wall, yeah, he's too big. <laughs> I go on a diet, Mister Mister Contemporary Galatus. So I think if I if I throw him in, I might kill the Immortals. But I think that there's a non-zero chance I actually don't even kill them. And then, and even then, you're gonna have I to contend with all the destroyers yeah, and also the Void Dragon and Doomsday Arc. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think I might, he might just like menace you. <laughs> he like shouts insults over the wall. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you. Um, so start of my Iron Loser. Start of my movement phase. I have to determine. I have to uh, declare if I'm using um, Unstoppable. If I do, I could move this guy to here because he could go through walls, which I think I'm super into. 
Um, I don't care. You're like 8.1 8. 8. 8. 8. 1 over. Yeah. Well, I, it's uh, it is important because I I have I have this is basically as close as I could have gotten to you. So if it's th if this is too far, then it is too actually. Too yeah. Far. Um, but I have an, a strat to advance and charge in Pokemon too as well, so I could actually just advance him through the wall. Um, uh, I believe that works. I'm gonna double check uh, that. I, it doesn't require me to like only do normal moves or something. Um, always good to double check because who knows with all these new rules. All these yeah. newfangled detachments. Unstoppable. Aren't we getting like a major? Aren't we getting like a major rules update next yeah. year? Uh, big rules update. Yeah, either like end of December or early January is gonna be a big rules update. What do you think that might entail? Um, honestly, I have no idea. There's like a bunch of rumors going around, it's like nerfing feel no pains and stuff, and like a lot of deep strike stuff, which would make me sad. Uh, 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 no, I just moved normally through terrain and models. Cool. All right, I'm into it. So, um, I'll score my primary at, in my command phase. So, I hold two objectives. So, I'll score 10 points, five for each objective. And then I will pay a CP at the start of the movement phase to give this guy the ability to walk through walls. Uh, All right. Relentless Persecution is the name of the other strat. And it's after I advance. So, I can see what I roll before I use it. That's rad. Um,. Yeah. All right. So let's do. I think we're going to laser cannon this guy a bunch is going to be the idea. So. Um... Uh, uh, uh. If Draxus advances, she only shoots with Dirge Singer. And she can't really shoot anything cool, so she'll probably hang out. She can hang out for later. She's the follow-up. Um, so I'll peek my Caladius grab tank. Ooh, 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 I'm a little, just a little peek. I'm going to peek that okay, guy. In we'll that case, him. I'm going to pop a stratagem. I'm going to pop fire Overwatch. Um, I am out of range for Overwatch. It's only 24 inches. Ah, damn. You could. I'm, th this guy's going to come at you, though. You could Overwatch shit out of that guy. Okay, in that case, I'm going to save that for then. Yeah. Um... The, um, custodian guard are chilling like villains, and I'm I'm very proud of them. They're doing a great job. Um, and my guns shoot like a, a thousand years, right? Forty-eight. Okay, yeah, an unnecessary distance, a frankly unnecessary amount of range. Uh, the prosecutors are gonna roll in advance, and we're gonna see what we have to do to screen here. Go Eleven. If I go here, we are screening out like this. Um, I have this guy is gonna just like sort of chunk in the back there. So I think we are okay. I might choke up a little bit on that. Mm. Just to make sure nobody comes in the, on this back corner. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit back. Don't come in the corner. Bloop. Cool. Good job, team. Um, and I guess we'll go behind the wall so you don't get randomly shot at. Sweet. That was fun. Um, all right. I will advance with this guy. I think we're going to do an advance and charge with him. I get plus one to advance roll, so I go 13 inches. Uh, um, I think we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna come hang out with this doomsday arc. What's up, All right, dude? then it's time for fire Overwatch. Get him! I'm going to reduce reduce my command points, and I need to roll a d6 to determine how many attacks the doomsday cannon does. D6 plus one, so I make two attacks. Lame. Here's where you're Agreed. all double sixes, though. Okay, then. Let's see. I just need two sixes. No sweat. Lame. Damn. But uh, we're not done with the fire overwatch. overwatch. Yeah, it has yeah. two Gauss Flare cannons. Five attacks each. And there's two of them, so ten. And also rapid fire five for each. So that's 20 attacks, I believe. Yeah, it is. 
Those Gauss yeah. flare arrays there, they're the real deal. Okay, let's see if my game lags out from picking up so many dice. <laughs> A lot of sixes. Oh, oh come on, what? get in there. What's going on? There it is. Three. Three sixes. All right. And it is... Toughness nine. Uh, you have lethal hits. Strength. So when you roll a six to hit, you automatically win. So those are just wins. Okay, perfect. Yep. Uh, I have a two plus armor save. I will pass them all. Nice. Yay. Good job, team. Um, uh, that's the end of his advance, so I'm going to pay a CP to allow him to shoot and charge. Um, I will then move my punchy telemon. Uh, we're going to go like an inch here. I just got to lip around this wall and then another inch here and then eight more inches. Try to charge that destroyer, I guess. Um, and then this guy is not charging anyone, so he'll just advance. Six? Okay. Uh, I don't know if I really needed that. Uh, he's actually kind of stuck. That's fine. We'll just chill. All right. Um, next up, we'll do... So moved. Uh, let's just make sure that this rhino... Um, I'll do the thing where I change what his outline looks like. Which is eight, I believe? No. Rectangular measuring. That's no, not working. It's broken. Oh, well. Um, is this nine? No, not even close. Is this nine? Kind of. Yeah, that says it's ten inches. Yeah, it's measuring from an inch inside my hull for some reason. So, <laughs> oh damn, that's like almost nine. Well, I'll I'll be a little closer just in case. So just make sure nobody can get back there. The witch seekers will come hang out. Actually, this guy will just tow this objective in case the I lose everything, so I can hold it. Um, the witch seekers were okay having them be close in case I need a secondary done. Um, all right, and then this Galatus. The question of the day is whether he's going to come hang out with you. I, don't, I think he just explodes, so I don't, I don't think that's probably the right call. I think he, he wants to hang out. Um, I'm, I can't score any cool secondaries with him, so he's just going to back off a little bit so he doesn't get charged by this guy. Uh, and then I have to decide about my reserves. So I have Grav Tanks and the Calidus Assassin. If the Calidus it's comes in over here... Cannons. You have... Yeah, Blaze Cannons. Yeah, the, the big... Uh, the big the big, big pew pew damage ones. Um, If I put my Calidus here, she just dies to Immortal. So I'm not going to... I'm only going to score my little engage with this guy. She'll just pop in... Um... Doesn't really matter. Over here, maybe. Uh, we could hop in over here, actually. That'd be kind of cute. Yeah. Uh, I'll make it more on her. So she um, makes all your stratagems cost one extra if you use them on something within 12 inches of her. So she's going to come here. Joke's so on you. I don't use stratagems. <laughs> Fair enough. Other than fire overwatch. <laughs> uh, and then let's see some strategic reserves. Uh, so come in outside. Zorb, zorb. Um, how do we feel about two grav tanks? Is two grav tanks good? Or do we want three grav tanks? I'm okay with two grav tanks, I think. Two grav tanks last game were enough for my buddy to wipe me. All right. We'll keep one in reserve, and we'll do this. Um, so cool. Let's do shooting. Uh, the easy stuff is these craft tanks into this guy. So the one in that can, I think, literally only see that dude. Um, he His little gun shoots 36. I might as well shoot it at the locust destroyers. Because I don't think it's in range. Oh, it is in range here. I'll just shoot everything at the dudes there. Um... So here is my Arachnus Heavy Blaze Cannon. It's on twos because I'm a custodian. 
I and hate those twos, I ain't gonna lie. Wounds on threes, because I'm a cool big laser beam with three rolls. Four saves on your invuln save, please. Okay, and the invuln is on four ups, I believe. Let me make sure. Yep. I can't even remember what I had for breakfast. I'm not going to remember a damn invuln. <laughs> Oh, why does that keep on doing that? I don't know. It's like a weird bug. Uh -oh. Okay, I got one save. Three go through. So these are D6 plus two damage each. So we do a lot of damage. 19. Okay. An unnecessary number. Thank you, Kaladius Grab Tank. Okay, then I'm going to roll Deadly Demise. Do it. Explode. Do it. Oh! <laughs> okay, so it looks like it is D3 deadly. It is D3 wounds. Uh, who's this one. on? Sorry. On me? Yes. Cool. Uh, um, one mortal? Yep. And one mortal for the... Do I need to roll differently? Yeah, you roll You roll the D3 for each one. Three. Three. Ah, uh, I hate he to is, see it. He has a, a four plus feel no pain, though. Yeah, so I'm going to roll three D6s to determine the feel no pain. Takes two. Could be worse. Yep. Uh, Bring animation protocols will get that back. I think just the locust now. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me take the Doom Doomsday Arc off. Um, uh, Into the void. All of the Caladius Grav Tank's heavy weapons, their turret weapons, are twin linked, yeah, which is why I got the wound reroll in there. Normally, you'd have to be wounded, yes, but not for them. They're special. Um, cool. And these guys take anything? What? Oh, yeah. I've, wait, uh... Yeah, I forgot. I need to roll for them. Yep. Three. We got one. Okay, it looks like two of them are destroyed. Uh, It should just be... You, you can only lose one from that, because it's D3 in there. Um, I had to roll... Didn't I have to roll a D3 for each model? No, no, just for the unit. Just for the unit. Oh, okay. Yep. In that case, I'm going to keep him right there. Cool. He could come back later. All right. Um, if I wanted to charge here, that would be five, which I am kind of into. So let's. I'm a little worried about this guy. You should be. And also, that Doomsday Arc has line of sight on you. So the instant you're dead, I'm coming at you. Yeah, I think I'd get intervened if I go for your objective here. And then I would explode, and then I would be sad. Plus, I could fire Overwatch you. Uh, so well, you've Overwatch in the that. movement phase, yeah. Overwatch is only once per turn, unfortunately. Um, interesting. All right, I think I will just. So I'll just shoot the second grab tank at the locust destroyers. Um. Okay. Good deal. Here we go. Big laser. Uh, we all hit. We don't get lethals though, because you're not a vehicle. And then we all wound. Uh, so four AP three. Um, and there shouldn't be any cover because I can see all of you. So I need just a bunch of sixes. Yep. No sixes. So there are minimum three each. So we'll okay, so both are dead. Cool. Good job, team. Um, all right. I'm going to go for this reanimator then. So that's all the shooting I'm going to do. I could declare these guys as a charge target and have to roll like a fucking 11. You'd have to roll a perfect 12. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Even there's no you're downside. Getting into, you're getting into attack with something that's specifically made for melee. Yeah. Um, all right, charges. Uh, Contemptor over here. Go get him. Whee! Nine. Easy. So I'll just stay outside six inches of these guys, because you could charge me if I get within six, which would be bad. Ooh, come on. So there's six inches from that guy, so I'll just be outside of that. Hello. Um, all right, I'll 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 just go for 12 here. Ready? Double sixes. No, double ones. <laughs> the dice are like, you stop. You kill a dude there. You have to just calm down. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, that is all of my... Oh, I took a damage, actually, so I, don't, I wouldn't even be able to take that objective if I went for it. Good thing I didn't, because um, I lose an OC, I lose two OC when I take damage. Uh, all right, here comes the Contemptor into you. Um, I just have to choose a martial stance to use. You are toughness six. I'll use sustained hits. 
Um, and then I get eight attacks with my big cool sword. But now I get real hit Let's rolls of one it. because I took one damage. Uh, they're all good. And then I get two more dice because I rolled two sixes for sustained hits. And then these went on threes. Yeah. Uh, uh, casual nine saves. AP two. All right. Just need a bunch of fives. No problem. Uh -oh. Take uh, 21 damage. That's a lot. That's an unnecessary amount of damage. I gotta fight something other than, Cust than Custody sometime. <laughs> uh, Alright, that is my turn. Um, I do, unfortunately, have to ditch behind enemy lines to get a CP back. Because I can't score it. Uh, engaged in all fronts, I'll just get two points. Because of the reasons. Pass it over to you. It's your go. Alright, then I'm gonna draw secondaries. Yep. Um, when do you use your Veil of Darkness if you want to? I think it's at the end of my turn, right? Yes, it's at the end of your turn, but there's nothing I can really yeah, yeah, yeah. go at because I need to be outside and dine. You could move up and shoot me anyway, I think. Because I put this guy inside the train so you could shoot him in case I needed to charge. Which one I wasn't looking. The, this Telamon here is touching the train, so you can draw line of sight to him from like over here if you wanted to. Um, Because I wanted to... If I moved charge, the charge, charge. Doomsday Arc up, could I then shoot from inside this building? Um... It's tough with the Doomsday Arc. You have to poke through the building. You have to be wholly inside the building to see through it. Or if you can draw a line of sight from the other side. So if you're here, you're good. Because you can draw a line of sight from your gun that's there. Or you can go... You could rotate and go here, probably. And that also works. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna... Hold on, I still need to read the secondaries. It is Recover Assets and Storm Hostile Objective. Let me read this. If there are fewer than two, uh, shooting phase. Hmm. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> it's unfortunate I had to put my punchy guy forward. That was maybe a, mis a deployment mistake on my part. Um, I also didn't know I would want... Like, who knows what you're going to fucking do when you attack a Doomsday Arc, right? Okay. Am uh, I going to one-shot you? or assets, I need to choose two models, Ooh. I believe. Uh, yeah, one unit uh, in your deployment zone and one unit outside your deployment zone. Okay, and I'm going to choose this squad of Scorpex. Sure. Yep, that makes sense. And uh, this squad of Immortals right here. Yeah, and, and you choose in your shooting phase, so you can move your guys outside, too. Uh, outside uh, the yeah. deployment zone if you want to. Um, the, the, immortals the scary thing with the Immortals is it, uh, you, the recover assets completes on the end of my turn, so if I kill them... Then it wouldn't you wouldn't get any points, and the objective would just like sit in your hand. So if you do it, these guys, there's a chance I could come and bash them with a. In that case, I'm going to put it on. Uh, pull up the deployment zone for me, real quick. Yep, you got it. Okay, so I'm just going to move these guys up, these locust destroyers, and then they'll be outside. Yep. Of my deployment zone. Yeah. Then I will put the on them. Perfect. Yeah, and then what you can do too is like you can put the immortals either in front of them or like uh, screening the wall. Oh, that, that, that doesn't work. I can move through models. Um, but like you can put them in front of the contemptors so that he can't like land next to them to try to get them. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Now for, I can only move through models. Phase. I can't charge through models. So if you put models in front of me for the charge yeah, phase screening. and I can't kill them, then I just have to fight them. Okay. And I'm going to move these guys up. So the, um, We've been having like right an there. ongoing, and like an ongoing track in my um, these guys, uh, one of my group chats. the The final liberation right video there. like exploded on YouTube yesterday. Okay, that guy's off the terrain a little bit, which was fucking awesome. Um, it did really. I was like a little worried a about stretch, it, but I think one of the no, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna move the Doomsday Arc. I was a little worried about it because it um, didn't do very well the day I released it. So, like, day of release is usually really important for algorithmically, right? Uh, and I was like, ooh, it's not really doing that hot. Uh. Um, and then his line of sight too. overnight, Goals. Friday night, it it uh, got 10,000 views. Hex, I'm going to move. Um, or, like, 6,000 views, I think, overnight, Friday, or Saturday, Friday night. And then Saturday day, oh, it got 10,000 views. Actually. 
and then apparently, apparently. It, it's like up another four or five thousand today i was like holy okay, shit so that means i only have like it's getting pushed really hard movement left for that guy and it just broke 20k in three days which like in the grand scheme of uh damn it hold of on. youtube is not great but for a channel with basically only two videos it's fucking huge Okay, then they're not within engagement range of the Contemptor, but they're pretty damn close. Cool. And the Catan, he is not within the building, so he's not shootable. Yep. I'm going to move him six inches this way. He's just essentially going to do nothing all game, I think. Yeah, this is like a good avenue for him, because if he needs to, he can move through this gap, I believe. Yeah. So if he can just like if he just like holds like here, he can just eat, like walk wander out to fight on the middle if he, if he feels like it later. Yep. And for these destroyers, did, did I move them already? I forget. Um, I moved. Yeah, because I think you had them here, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, and on to the shooting phase. On to shooting. I'm going to have the Doomsday Arc fire into the Contemptor. And need to see how many attacks I get. D6 plus one. Um, Six attacks. I might give you... I might do a stratagem. Uh, 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 this is their, like, one big gun. And you have, like, a... You can shoot me with all the fucking... Heavy Destroyers, too. Do you want them to be... Um, wholly inside the building so they can shoot out? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, actually, I might be okay. This, I think this ruin might block for me here. The second ruin. I think it does. Barely. Yeah, if, Yeah, I don't know how much movement you had. You might have been able to get a couple guys over here to shoot. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. I'm just going to leave it like that. Not um, back time. So I have nine wounds. And I'm going to be hit by a Scorpic Lord. He's going to do mortal. Well, this me. stick skill on three up. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just let go. One of them fails. And that is... Strength 18 against Toughness 9, so I need twos. Oh, uh, what, I, I will do something, actually. Sorry. Um, just so, at the end of your movement phase, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Rapid Ingress. So I'm going to pay a CP, and I'm going to bring my last Grav Tank in. I think he's just going to come over here. Okay, and now I need two ups to hit. I mean, wound. One of them failed, so what, four attacks. That's the correct play. Four attacks at D four at AP four damage four into the contemptor. Mm hmm. Uh, so I have a four plus invuln save. Oh, that's too many dice. Let me not go. Oh, nah, that that seems like the right amount. Yeah, <laughs> take all take all outsides. Uh, three go through. I just die. He dead. Did he explode? You have deadly demise. Yeah, he did. He all rolled a five though, so he's okay. Goodbye. I must go. My planet okay, needs me. Okay, then, and I don't think can't. Does the Doomsday have line of sight on the Telamon? Uh, mm, does the uh he does, but he has to declare his target at the start of shooting, which I assume was the Contemptor. And I'll, I still have two tar two sh two weapons left to fire with. Yeah. So when you choose him to shoot, you select the targets for all your weapons, and then if the if he dies before you complete you finish shooting, they they don't get to retarget. Damn. Eight, okay, the Telemon's within 18 inches. Yep. I'm going to have the Scorpec fire the Admetic Annihilator. Two attacks on two up. Both hit. And strength six. Toughness ten, so I need two fives. Okay, you're safe. Sick. And uh, I think that's all the shooting I can do this time. Cool. Um, do you want to try this charge? I have minus one damage on these guys, so they're they're pretty tanky. Maybe a ten. I'm gonna try it. Cool. I just don't see a reason. If I can try it, I'm gonna roll for it. Yep. Yeah. Nine. Nope. 
Sag. I'm gonna. Can I do a command reroll on one dice, or do I have to re uh, do the whole charge? It, yeah, you reroll both dice if you if you command reroll. I've got nothing to lose. I'm going for it. Sweet. Double sixes, please. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I think manager. I think using manners actually worked. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, and also, the Scorpec Lord. Yeah, just immortal wounds to me. Has Crimson Harvest. When ending a charge, select enemy. Select the enemy it charged into on a D6. Roll it. Roll a D6. On a two to five, suffers D3 mortals. On a six, suffers D3 plus three mortals. Yep. Yeah, just watch out because like the Scorpec Lord has to be engagement for that roll to work. So just make sure he goes first and then touches, like gets to a, within an inch of me. I'm trying to get in here so I, yeah. everything's with an engagement. Yeah. Because these bitches keep on wanting to flip over. Yeah, he'll probably end up like here. And I think you might be able to fit a guy there, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Nope. This guy. I think this is better like... for you because if you if you get around the corner here, then I'll try to intervene probably. So it, yeah, so it looks like I can only fight with one Scorpec and one Scorpec Lord. Um, I think you might be okay if you go here and here and here. Then they can all base the Scorpec Lord, and if you're base to base with somebody who's in base to base with me, then they can fight. Okay, then I'm okay. I'm gonna roll that D six for the Crimson yep. Harvest. Yep, roll it. Up. And it works. Looks like it's a two, so D three mortals. Mm -hmm. As soon as I finish lagging, I'll roll yeah, it. Jesus. I will take two. Two mortals. Ouchie. Okay, then let me just... Let's fight. Okay, then, since I charged, I'm going first. Let me pull up the... I'm going to do the score packs first. That's a, that's a thumbnail pick right there, Chan. And since the Lord is leading them, they have lethal hits. So four attacks times three, that is 12. That right there is 12. Okay, one lethal hit. Cool. And that was on three ups, so two fail. Uh, you reroll your hit rolls, right? When you charge. Oh, yes, if they're led by a lord. We'll add one to the hit roll. Yeah, and then when so, when Scorpec Destroyers charge, they reroll. They can reroll whatever hit roll you want. So you can reroll the one and the two hits. There you go. They all hit. Boom. Okay, perfect. Oh, do you want to use your Plasma Sight, too? I am not going to use that yet because I have the lethal hits. Okay, sure. And if, actually, it, I'm probably going to get wiped out by that Grav Tank. I'm going to pop it now. Okay. That's a good point. Dev wounds. Uh, winning on fives. On T10. Yes. So two devastating. One, two, and then a save on a four plus. And also that lethal hit. Oh, yeah. So two saves. One, two. Uh, I failed them both. Ouch. So I'll take two more. Nice. One, two. All right. All right, big Scorpion Lord. Can you do six damage? I hope not. Okay, let me see here for the score pack. I'm going to use the Hyperphase Har Harvester. Well, actually, what toughness is he? 10. He 10. Yeah, so you wound on force. Actually, no, I could do double the attacks on fives. I'm going to. I'm going to do a stupid real quick. Sure. <laughs> I guess you have devastating, gonna, so it's actually not that bad. I'm gonna do the flensing. Well, the I think the devastating only applies to score packs. Um, it well, it's from it's the score pack lord's leadership ability, right? Yeah. No, the plasma site. No, it, he'd have lethal hits. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he has lethal hits. The plasma site, I believe, applies to the entire unit. Yeah, it's it's model melee weapons equipped by models in this unit. So as long as the character is attached. It, it all counts as one unit. So, lethal so hits an, anything that says, yeah, anything that says like weapons in this unit have X applied to both the character and the, and the, the Scorpex. That's okay, why he, yeah. get, he also gives uh, himself lethal hits while he's leading the unit too. 
I'm going to use the Flensing Claw on two ups. Sure. Uh, and he also gets to reroll his hit rolls because they, they that just says models in the unit as well. They, oh, sad. So this is lethal, right? Yes. And then these are fives and sixes are cool. Yep. So two saves and a mortal. So here's the mortal. Take one. And then two saves on three ups because I am a two plus armor. Boop. I'll take one more. My save's not doing nice. so hot. I think that damages me, actually. It sure does. I get myself a hit. No. Uh -oh. All right. Um, I'll swing back at you. Uh, he has... Um, uh, he'll choose sustained hits on his for his martial kata, and uh, he has ten attacks because of his enhancement. Holy shit! Let's go. Oh no, that's not right. I believe it's only eight. I think I think this adds my bonus attacks in from my equipment. Um, I don't think I have any cool stratagems I could use here. That would be awesome. Uh, 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 I do not. So, yep, we're just fighting. I do reroll once to hit and win, though. So it's on three, he's rerolling ones. Oh, twos. Oh, but I do get a sustained hit, so that goes away. And then these wound on twos, because I'm strength 12. And reroll ones. Uh, ew. Two ones. Another two ones. ones. Jesus. Uh, so seven AP two, please. Okay, so I just need a bunch of fives, no problem. So, so it's three damage each, so it'll kill the Scorpex, and then just... All of them? Uh, it'll kill the regular guys, uh, and then it'll just do three damage to the Scorpex Lord. And that's it. That's what I got. Cool. Into the forever box. <laughs> Um, all right. So, uh, I think that is the end of the turn. Yeah. Yep. Your turn now. Cool. So your recover assets is going, do you want to keep storm hostile objective or discard it for a CP? Discard it for a CP. Love it. Cool. Um, I'm going to pick up my Calidus assassin again. Does that automatically apply the CP or do I have to add it? Um, you'd have to add the one from discarding. It just adds the okay, one yeah. you get from the start of the turn. Added it. Cool. All right. Oh, wait, I need to account for the two of your units recovered assets. So uh, it, unless I kill them, because this one I could potentially stop. Oh yeah, hold on, let me just. Okay, still at fifteen victory points. Yeah. Um, we don't need. It. Oh, and you did get ten at the start of your turn because you held two objectives. There you go. Oh, thank you. Sweet. Um, I'm not playing with the victory points. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Uh, all right. I'm going to draw two cards. Picked up the Calidus already. Oh, no. Shit. Infect up. Let's... Uh, um, I'm just going to do this again. But Marked for Death was definitely in there. These go, these ones got fucked up. I'm just going to redraw them. Which is sad, because those are both good. Uh, assassination. Okay, that was, that's that is good. Uh, so marked for death. Uh, you choose three units in your army, and I get points if I kill one of them. Okay, I'm going to choose this squad of immortals. Yep. And this squad of scorpex. Yep. And this squad of heavy destroyers. Cool. I think this Sabus pick here is the void dragon because I like literally can't do anything to him. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna change it from the immortals to the void dragon. Perfect. Yep. Then. Yep. I think uh, I don't think I'm gonna score that one be honest um all right so uh start of my move or end of my battle my uh thing i have to take a battle shock test for this dude who is wounded he's okay um and i'll get 10 points for holding two objectives and i will do some moving so let's um I have to pay a CP at the start of the phase if I want anybody to move through walls. And I think I do. Let's see.
If you try and charge the Doomsday, Katan will intervene with heroic intervention. Um, it'd be tough for me to get close enough. I actually, I'm not even sure I physically can. I'm too fat for me to, to get close enough to get intervened. Because I have to end my charge like over here, basically, and you can only intervene within six. Uh, so I will. I will use it on that Telamon, so he'll be he will be unstoppable this turn. Um. I'll laser cannon this guy, maybe, and then, like, shoot him and stuff. Yeah. Cool. I don't think I can stop the recover, unless I went for a really long charge, a really long, annoying charge, which I don't really want to do. The Locust Destroyers are two OC each. Um, I think I am definitely like sending. I'm just like gonna eat his Begitus as Contemptor at you. So let's do movement. Um, this guy, he is unstoppable, so he can move through whatever he wants and he'll advance. Whoop. I can't be stopped. Three. So he gets plus one to advance, so he'll go 14 inches. So this is I can, I think, gonna be a six inch charge. Well, wouldn't you have to pass through the Scorpec Lord? Wouldn't that get you an engagement range? Uh, and if I have, if I um, have an effect that lets me move through models, I can ignore engagement range while moving. I can't stand in his engagement range, but I can move through it. Ah, it okay. basically gives him like, like super flying. Basically, <laughs> like I move through. It's flying that also works on buildings. He just like bashes through. Um, all right. Uh, this guy, I think, is going to fall back. Do you have to do a desperate escape? Oh, wait, no. No, you I didn't battle shock. No. Escape. Yeah. Only if I failed my battle shock check, which I didn't. Um, I am going to fall back. Where am I going to go? I could go to the middle and then be eaten by the Void Dragon. Um, no, no, no. Uh, 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 I think that I will, yeah, I'll just fall back this way. Like, these guys being moved 10, they go so fast. One of these days, we're going to fight some Nar and Custodes. Yeah, it's weird you hit them two or twice in a row. Although, they, they, like, they're getting, like, new stuff right now, so I think people are just excited about them. Um, I want a Witch Seeker to see the Scorpic Lord, so I'm just going to move this one like in the back here a little bit. Uh, they have a thing where they can make you take Battleshock checks when they shoot you, so I'm going to try to stop you from resurrecting. Um, and then this Caladius Shroud Graph Tinkle move. Uh, if I go over here, you could Heavy Destroyer me, but you can Heavy Destroyer fucking whoever you want, so who cares? I've also got the Doomsday Arc in range. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's it's time for these grav tanks to contribute to the to the economy. Um, I would like to I I would like to use fire overwatch if I could. So yeah, these block line of sight, and I'm not inside. I would them. actually like to use it on something else. Oh sure. Oh, you want to shoot that guy on the Talamon? Yeah, yeah, I'll get do it. I would like to fire the Gauss flares and the Doomsday cannon into it. Cool. And as soon as the dice lag. I will no laggy today. roll the d6 plus one. Five attacks. On six ups. Thank you, God. And... Okay, strength 18. Should be on threes. 10. So on threes. Both make it. AP 4, damage 4. Yep. Um, these are flat damage, so I can fast roll. Uh, one saves, one goes through. Do I want a CP? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll just eat that. Uh, I do reduce damage by one, so I'll take three, and I have a feel no pain because of my enhancement, so I will ignore on fives. <laughs> take three. <laughs> nice. Okay, and now I'm gonna do both into the microphone, really? Gauss flares, and since it's within <laughs> okay. twelve, sure, man. 
I'm gonna do rapid fire five, yep. so that's twenty attacks. Yep. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just one. Okay, then one hits. Alright. Do I save? I won't lie, I expected some more. Yeah, you should get three or four. Uh, he's okay. Okay, looks like that fails to wound. Uh, those are the lethal ones. So if you if you hit on Overwatch with the lethal weapon, you just you, you just wound. If you uh, roll okay, six. Gotcha. Yeah, if you roll six. Um, cool. All right, good job, team. Uh, let's do some other movement. This guy's hiding. Can't see him anywhere. These guys are basically gonna take a turn off, I guess. Um, I think I will... Oh, I'll push this Contemptor Galatus at you. We'll go seven and eight. I believe two of the heavy destroyers can see ya. Uh, yeah. But you overwatch with the Dooms there, so we can't get overwatched again. Yes, but I'm just saying for later. Oh, yeah, I mean, if I charge, then, like, your whole army can see me. <laughs> um... Uh, all right, that he moved, he moved. These grav tanks, I think, are just gonna move up a little bit. Um. Oh wait, hold on, I forgot to reduce his CP for fire Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Um, this this guy will go. We'll just go over here, I guess. I'll pay two to rotate. Uh, I'll do something like this and just like give myself cover. Ah, to game, game, let me move. Uh, and this guy will go here, and I will tow on the objective for to hold it. Um, Kyria Draxus, what are you doing? Just chilling like a villain, just being the world's like most annoying counterpunch. Um, I think we are going to advance the Kyrie Draxus unit. Three, you go nine. I think I'll hang out behind this thing. Don't you need a battle line unit to be on the objective to gain victory points? Uh, no, no, those are extra. You can hold them with anything, but the, the ones from battle line units are extra. Um, which I have not scored myself. I should have gotten one for that. And then you should have two because you held, held Immortals on two objectives. So you should get two. I'll just put them in here. They're technically secondary objective points is where they're supposed to be like tallied up. Which only matters yeah, if we yeah. end up maxing out our points, which we probably won't. This is a, this is a kind of a low scoring game so far. Okay. Um, I will put a prosecutor on the objective. So I have an extra unit there in case I need it. Prosecutors, go. Cool. Um, all right. And just like shuffle this rhino over. All right, cool. Sweet, let's do shooting. I'm gonna shoot you with the Witch Seeker. Flamer, go. One shot. One wound, though. <laughs> let's go. AP zero. Okay, so three. So I just need to roll the save. Yep. All right. Okay, let's see the save. Three up. Mm hmm. You're good. Four saved it. Uh, and then their ability is um, after I shoot. And I hit you, you take a battle shock tax. So battle talk test for them. Uh, oh, sorry. Let me just run in my Calidus assassin real quick. It doesn't really matter. She's not doing anything. Had a, uh, a battle shock. I've never actually done that. Uh, it's 2d6, and you have to get um, equal to or uh, you have to get uh, equal to or higher than your leadership. Yeah, you're old. I got higher than leadership. Yep. Uh, I'll go here, I guess. doesn't really matter um 
All right. The... Um, I'll just start shooting you with crab tanks, I guess. It doesn't make a huge difference. So this one over here in the corner. Here's the big laser beam. Here's the big laser beam. Uh, we all hit. I turn linked. So that's three saves on your end ball. From the big laser cannon. Three on four ups. One goes. One through. of them fails. Uh, take four damage. Okay, four damage applied. No, no, no on the Scorpic Lord. I can't see the dooms there. Oh, Scorpic Lord, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so he's dead. Yeah. I wish I could see the dooms there. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. I yeah, thought you were no talking about the dooms there, Mike. No, this was a good spot for him because none of the craft tanks could get line sight. Um, otherwise, like he pops out and shoots me, and then all the other shoot tanks shoot back, and that's bad for you. Uh, but that's the right place to put him. Let's do. Uh, I'll, I will shoot him with the Telemon. Um, I have my plasma projectors, so two D three attacks. One, two. Oh, that's a D six. Here we go. D three. Two D three. Into the box, please. Oh, big six. And we are strength six, I think. Mm -mm -mm. Strength seven. Holy shit. Strength seven, twin light. So that's cool. Uh, so six on fives, twin linked. Whoa, five saves on your invuln, please. That was a big roll. One damage. Oh, four each. ones, dear God. Uh, so just four damage to you. Um, cool. All right. All right, Telemon. Let's... Go and tell your mom. So go tell your mom. Uh, was there a way I could peek that guy? I don't think so. No, I can't see anything. So it doesn't matter. Um, I think that's all my guns. That's fun. Uh, I will charge this, uh, Doomsday Arc with my Telemon. Uh... 2d6, need a 6. Nope, need a 5. I plus one to charge. Okay, 12 will be fine. I'm going to come over here. Boop. Hello. Um, I will charge. Uh, let me think about that. I could tank shock you. And that would probably make it so I only need three conversions to kill you. So I will tank shock. As much as I want it over here, I think this is the correct call. So uh, I'm going to spend a CP, and on five ups, I'm going to roll dice equal to my toughness. On five ups, um, they will do mortal. So three mortal wounds to you, Mr. Doomsday Arc. Already. And three mortal. Hold on, I'm lagging. Yeah, it's, it's been real bad. Okay, three mortals. There it is. Sweet. Um, this Contemptor will charge this the Plasmancer's unit. Probably need a six or something. Seven should do it. Uh, 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 go over here. Something cool I can do that, right? I don't really. All right. Um, and I will call that charging. Uh, so I'll swing with my Telemon. He has seven attacks because he's not the punchy guy. Um, I do get reroll ones to hit, and I will choose sustained hits on my martial kata. So twos, rerolling ones, which is good because I rolled a bunch of them. Uh, and then we get a sustained hit, and then these went on threes because I'm a big strength twelve. Um, e so six go three so far. I need three of them. I'm going to command point one of these just to make sure I can get it done. Didn't work. I rolled a one into a one. All right. Uh, so six saves on your end bone save, please. For the Plasmancer? No, no, on the Doomsday Arc. This is the tele. Oh, Doomsday Arc. I, yep. I, I lost track of things. No worries. Six saves. Six saves. Okay, six on four up. No problem. Uh, lame. That sucks. All right. Well, it is what it is. 
Uh, so three damage each, so lives you on one. <laughs> Awkward. Um, and then uh, LRL at the Galadus over here. He's also going to do sustained hits. He doesn't get any rerolls because he's not damaged yet, but he is OC a million, which is probably not going to matter. Uh, here we go. Boop. Uh, I do get two sustains. That's exciting. And then strength eight, I think, wins you on threes because you're an immortal unit. Yeah, toughness five. Here we go. Threes. Uh, that is six AP two saves onto the immortal unit. How many attacks did you did you say, did you get? Six six saves on those guys. Okay, six on five ups. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, three failed. Kill all but one, I guess. Well, if three failed, wouldn't that mean that three immortals are dead? Uh, you save on five. Doesn't spill over. You save on fives, right? Yes. Oh wait. Oh wait. No, that's a four. My yeah. <laughs> yeah. I misread it. Um. All right. Hit me back. Hit me back with your melee attacks. Okay, then I'm gonna have the plasma. Unfortunate. Fire Ugh. back first. Flub. Just barely flub into. The, although the the actual DA is stuck now. Weapon. And he probably doesn't fall back because Overwatch might kill him. Probably. As soon as I stop lagging, maybe. Maybe we'll see. Oh, and a bolt launcher. Okay, two on four oh, ups. I forgot they have bolt launchers. Strength seven. Shit. Toughness. Oh, well. That's my bad. Nine. So on five. That's what I get for literally never having Fable. played like with or against a Telewander at not in this did, game. Well, <laughs> next. That probably would have done one damage. Four Mistakes were made. X on three up. Mistakes were made. One fails. I was just so excited about all the damage that is... Uh, Strength five. Flamer, I dude. need fives. One hits. AP zero. Damage one. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. And now for the one remaining immortal. Two attacks on three up. One fails. Strength four, so I need a six. Fail. Okay, that's it for my turn right there. Cool. Um, so I will ditch Mark for death, get a CP back. Uh, I will score assassination because I killed the Scorpic Lord. Um, and it is over to you. Uh, All right, then I'm going to pop reanimation, reanimation protocols on the Doomsday Arc. Yep. One moon back. Fair enough. And I'm gonna lost. do the. <laughs> it's oh, it's all the, ogre, man. The immortals. Oops. Okay, I got two of them back. Good deal. Okay, do you mind me setting them setting them up right there? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Looks good to nice me. Get them so that they're all facing the right way. Oh, and you got your recover assets. That finished on my turn, so you got three points. All right, good deal. Now I'm going to draw two more secondaries. Mm hmm Okay, overwhelming force. Enemy unit at the start of the turn within range of objective markers destroyed. That is possible. Mm-hmm. Pretty good one this turn. Area denial are within three inches of the center of the battlefield. I could do, technically do that if I advanced the Void Dragon, but I think I'm gonna recite. If I recycled that, I just need I just need to draw another one. No CP spent. Um, it, it would cost you one to recycle it at the start of your turn. So if you wanted to redraw it right it. now, yeah. Then. I'm gonna leave it and res and get the CP at the end of the turn. Cool. Um, and then the Dooms there would need a Battle Shock check. Uh, yes, let's see here what the phase. leadership is. Leadership seven. You could also pay a CP once per game to auto pass your battle shock if you want to. Nah. Oh, all right. Well. Looks like I failed the battle shock. So what is that? What exactly does failing battle shock mean? Uh, so he becomes uh, OC zero, and you can't use stratagems on him. And if he falls back, he'll have to take a, a desperate escape check. Oh well, the immortals are technically on the objective. Yeah, but uh, the Telamon will beat this one for it. So that would flip the objective. I'm going to move the Catan. So you get five. 
going to move him six. Well, at least we got that chant. And he's in the building, but not within range of anything. Except for I can't use ranged weapons against him unless it's with the Doomsday Arc. Um, so you can shoot. He's a monster. I, or he's a vehicle. So you can shoot any non-blast weapons at him. So you yeah, can't, use, can't your, use your blast. you can't use your Voltaic Storm, but you can use the spear on me. Okay, then I'm going to use the... Let me pull it up on my phone so I don't have to look at the screen. Okay, Spear of the Void Dragon. That counts as a vehicle. Yep. So vehicle on two ups, one on two. Uh, do you want to move your other stuff first? That's the shooting phase. Oh, yeah. I'm going to save. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to forget I made that roll. Sure. Yeah, you'll probably get it, maybe. Okay, so I'm going to... These Scorpex are within range to... I mean, the Destroyers mm -hmm. are within range to fire at the Telamon. Yep. So I'm going to have them stay right there. They're good in, in a good position. I'm going to have the Locust move back. We out? Right about... See you. Right about there-ish. Cool. And uh, one of them is technically visible. I'm going to move this one a bit further back. Yep. Yeah, just behind the building. Right about there-ish, so that's good. Yeah, if you go here, then I can't draw through this at you. Okay, good deal. Yeah, yeah. There, that, that's the safe spot. And I can still fire at the Contemptor. And you can fire at the Contemptor, yeah. He's right there. He's asking for it. All right, then I'm going to use the... Now for the shooting phase, I'm going to use the Spear of the Void Dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, you will be minus on a hit because I'm in melee, but... Uh, okay, on the three up then. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna do a command reroll. Fair enough. Let's do it. Nailed it. And now strength four, but I only need anti vehicle. I have anti vehicle two up, so yep. I just need a two up. Indeed. Nailed it. Uh, and AP three, and damage is D six plus two. I have a four plus involve. Yeah, which I make. Let's go. Damn. And you're down to four CP. Cool. Ah uh, yes, thank you. Okay, and I'm going to have the Doomsday Arc fire 20 shots of the Gauss Flare Array. Mm -hmm. Let me just make sure that's 20. Yep. So these will hit on... Six. These will hit on fours, but your sixes are automatically wounds. That right there is 20. Perfect. Blam. Oh, that's oh what? Sixes. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So these wound, and then all of on four up, all of those seven. ones hit. Yeah, so those yeah those. Thank six you, miss. Dice God. <laughs> that was sick. So now I just need uh, it should be sixes here. <laughs> strength ten. Yeah, I need sixes. Oh, I rolled a not diggity already. damn. Okay, so it looks like six uh, attacks went through yeah, then. So six. All right, six on two ups. I will fail one, or do I? I have a feel no pain. I do. <laughs> Ow. Oh, did you want to follow these guys back? Uh -huh. Nah, they're going to stay right there. They're still on the objective. Okay, uh, I will get to oh, swing at to you. Do victory points for the objective. Yeah, so you hold, you scored for this one. Um, you auto see me here, but I be, I uh, auto see you on the, on the home one. So you got five. Okay. I gave, and... it, I gave it to you already, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, he will get to if you don't kill him, he will get to swing at you in your fight phase. So it's up to you. Oh yeah, that's why I got the locust destroyers there. Okay. I'm going to have all f three of the heavy destroyers. Hold on, let me pull it up on here. Okay, three Gauss destructors on one shot each on lethal hits. Uh, at the Telamon. Yes. Okay. Um, I might do a strat here. Let me think about it. Um, uh, 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 you're strength 14, so I could be minus one to wound. Um, and then the Void Dragon AP hits four, me. damage six. Five attacks for D6 plus two. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die either way. So, yeah, I'll just Okay, so it. it's fine. three attacks on out. three up. I'm just going to plan to explode. Oh. It'll be fine. <laughs> All three hits, strength 14. What toughness is that? Uh, toughness 10, so we should be on threes. Threes. And uh, AP four, damage six. Yep, just on my four up in See if I boss it. Two fours here, ready? One goes through. Um, 
I could CP. Damage six. I could CP reroll if I wanted to. These guys are just their lethal hits and rerolling and stuff. Um, once I get that void dragon in there, he's gonna die anyway. Yeah, honestly, it's probably not worth. It. So I'll take. Would you six. like to hear one of the abilities for the void dragon? Uh, yeah, it's like D three more than thing. Matter absorption. At the start of my shooting phase, select one enemy vehicle within 12 inches, roll a d6. On a 2-up, that enemy unit suffers d3 mortals, and this model regains up to that many wounds, So, but I can't do that, so I'm just going to take 3 away from you. Let's roll that d6. Sure. Technically, it's at the start of the shooting phase, but eh, whatever, you know. Nailed it. Okay, so suffer d3. Let's roll that d3. One. That is a 1. I have a 5-up. He's good. Let's go. I really hate those feel no pains and then bulls. That's what he's got. Okay, That's all he's got going on. He's just, he's just, he's just a little feel. And now I'm pain, going to have the little guy. locust fire into the contemptor. Yep. Minus one to hit me because I'm engaged. Okay, so three attacks each. That's times nine. So I need... On fours. Oh yes, and two of and on lethal hits, so two auto wound. Uh, I think you lethal on fives here, because you have a locust lord. That's his ability. So, oh yeah. So your fives are also auto wounds. And also, wait, it has plus one to hit because it's. Oh yeah, character. of course. Yeah, yeah. So these ones also hit. So these are all lethals, and then those wound on uh, should be fives, I think. It is strength D5. five. I mean strength. Wait, no strength five. Yeah. Yeah, toughest nine. Okay, wow, that was really good. Um, so that is eight. Yeah, all right. AP two, damage two. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, four ups. Boop. Uh, four go through. So I'll take eight. Eight. Nice. Nice. Um, does the Lord have and the Staff of Light? Oh no, he's got the sword. No, he does not. He, I get, I decided to give him the blade. Yeah, I like the, the sword. unit have some melee threat. Yeah, I, I, I like the sword way better too. The Staff of Light just like once they get engaged, they're just like do nothing. <laughs> just, like, yeah, flail it around with the stick. Ah. Cool. Um. Now I'm gonna... Oh, I think the Plasmancer could try to kill me with his lightning bolt, right? Yes, I'm going to do living lightning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he could try to shoot me. Okay, then let's see here. Roll 4d6. Just don't roll 4-ups, four, four please. Or don't roll 2. Roll 1. Just 1. Now it says right here to... Roll 4d6 for each 4-up that enemy and it serves one mortal wound. Yeah, I just want you to roll only one 4-up. Why? Because oh, then I won't oh, die. Yeah. Okay, you rolled really good. Alright, fair enough. Do I explode? He did. I, I do explode. Uh, so I'll kill an immortal, and that's it. Okay, one immortal dead. Nice. I'm going to possibly get him back with resurrection now for the charge phase. I'm going to have the Catan charge the Telamon. Yep. I just need to roll a four. Seven. Excellent. Nice. Hello. There you are, and... Goodbye, Telamon. It's been nice knowing you, buddy. Now for the fight phase, I'm going to have the Catan, Shard of the Void Dragon. Let me pull up his data sheet. Okay, I'm going to do the Canoptic Tail Blades first. Sure. Um, I'm going to PSCP to attempt to fight when I die here. Okay. That assumes that you die if I roll bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe you just totally okay, shit the six. bad and don't do three damage to this guy. <laughs> Hey, oh, okay, look at those six sixes. Two ups. Cool. And then these are on uh, fives to win? Six. Yeah, fives to win. Nice. Okay. Well, so far, so good. We still have Spear of the Void Dragon Strike, anti vehicle two up. 
Game's going pretty good, chat. Um, it's been fun. Five this is a fun detachment. The Telemons are really fast, which is awesome. One fails. Um, the Strength They feel a little pillow fisted. So I need threes. But, like, going through walls and advancing and, and charging and stuff anti is Anti-vehicle awesome. two up, so I just need twos. One fails. Three saves. Eight, three. three. Uh, I'll roll these slow in case they roll really good. First one goes through. All right. How much damage? D6 plus two, right? D6 plus two. Roll it up. Roll up the first one. How much damage do I take? Ew. Three. Uh, I reduced damage by one, so I will take... Um, two damage. Two damage from that. Okay, well, that was a good start. Yep, I will take him. So I'm down to two. Or down to one. Uh, second roll. Also fails. All right. Roll me damage on that one. <laughs> eight. eight. <laughs> okay, yeah, down to seven. And do I roll literally seven five-ups? No. Uh, okay, so I will okay, first see if I explode. Nope, and then I'll see if I fight on death. Yep. Um, and I'll just punch the demons there. Boop. Just a, just a light breeze will kill it. Hey, yeah. Uh, these miss. Um, I have been determined not to have been selected to fight for whatever reason. Uh, so I have um, five hits, and then went on threes, rerolling everything because I am dead below strength. Uh, so five saves on your invulnerable save, Mr. Doomsday Arc. Got him. Okay, one of them passes. Uh, three damage each, yeah, so we'll blow him up. Does he explode? Yes, yeah, so now for Deadly Demise. Let's see here. Nah, alright. Okay. Good job, Telemon. Void. Uh, hold on, I need to... Deadly, de deadly Demise. Into the Void. Alright. Um... Is that the turn? That is the turn, I believe, yes. Sweet. All right. Uh, so you did get two models on objectives. So you get uh, five points for overwhelming force, and but nothing for areas at all. Do you want to you ditch that for CP? Yep. Cool. Uh, cool. So that discards. Um, I'll pick up my Calidus Assassin again, I think. How many points do I get? Uh, oh, five points on a secondary. So it'll be, it'll be here uh, on round three. Yeah, we're on round three. There you go. Perfect. Cool. Um, going into four. I don't have anything to do at the start of my turn. So we were just draw some cards. One, two, call the horde. I don't think I can score because none of your units are 20 models. <laughs> so <laughs> see ya. Uh, discard that. Draw another one. Cleanse. All right, that was easy. I got an orc blob you could try. <laughs> just a, well, a rated orc. I have an orc blob. list, but it's not. There's nothing that's 20 models up. Yeah, yeah. Um, our game after this. Why is the next one? You see the full. I, I just have time for one today, unfortunately. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't. I don't think I'm not gonna kill the Void Dragon's game chat now. There's no. There's no way. <laughs> I could try. Maybe I can shoot him. I'll certainly shoot at him. We'll see what happens. But I don't think he's gonna die. Um, Considering he has an invuln and a feel no pain. Yeah, he's, he's going to be okay. I believe in him. So, question of the day is if I can get... Uh, I'm going to raise the objective markers real quick. Just see, make sure I can see who's on it. So you have one, two, six objective control here. Yes. Can I get three guys there? No, I can maybe get two on a good day. No. Um... So I would love to shoot at these guys and get a bunch of rerolls. Maybe I just tow a guy onto this thing. With reanimation protocols and that res orb, you probably wouldn't do any lasting damage. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to like nudge out a grav tank and, and between the custodian guard and a grav tank and a sentinel storm, I think I get them. I mean, I don't know if I get the lord. I'll probably get the regular guys, though. Um, and then I want to charge these guys. Do a, do a murder. Uh, Who's cleansing? You can cleanse over here. I don't think all my crap tanks are shooting. Maybe we just cleanse these guys. No, that's stupid. Oh, I can cleanse the Kalidus, of course. You're going to use that Kalidus. I have an assassin. 
I have a whole nice assassin over here. Cool. Um, that makes sense to me. So let's move the custodian guard. Um, I'm gonna put this objective back where it was. The I want to. Uh, let's do that in a sec. I want to... Oh, you know what I do? You know what Inquisitor Draxus does? So she makes me hard to shoot at. That's low and op 18. Yeah, on a 2 plus. Um... And the destroyers are within 18, so I can shoot you anyway. Uh, it depends on where I stand. Because if I pull back here, then you might not be able to shoot with all of them. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, before we go too far, I am going to roll a battle shock check for this guy. He's okay. And I, and I, we have to ask ourselves if anybody wants to run through walls, and I think the answer is not yet. Maybe later. So, cool. Let's move my custodian card. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Um, so I will move a grav tank. Can I move him eight here? Yeah, we'll move a grav tank first. I'm going to put him on the objective in the middle. And pay two inches to rotate, which is why I'm doing eight. Um, this guy is going to rotate and go out like this a little bit. Uh, and just so he can see the void dragon, and I'll shoot him because I'm here. This guy. He's gonna peek out like this, and look at the locust destroyers back there. Um, these witch seekers are just like having a great time. I already got engaged on fronts. So I don't really need them anywhere. So they're gonna show. Could you charge them? Six. Eleven. Ten. No, not quite. All right. So we'll just be outside an inch there and hang out and cleanse the objective. Um, certainly set up the Calidus in the back over there. These guys are holding that objective and they're doing a great job. I'm very proud of them. Uh, this Rhino screening at the back corner, which is awesome. All right, yeah. Let's uh, let's push, let's push Draxus's unit. I'm feeling lucky. Um, I don't think there's anywhere. Oh, hello, TTS. Let me move my guys. So what we'll do is make sure that we have line of sight to the Lord, which is be like this. But that means we can try to dodge at least one guy shooting at me if you want to overwatch. So, um, and that guy's line of sight looks like this. So if I don't cross this line, it would should probably only be two guys if I if you wanted it. Um, so Draxis is gonna come hang out over. Here, I can see this guy, I think. Yeah. Looks like it can only, looks like a Draxix can be seen by one destroyer and that's it. Yeah. Um, this guard will go here. Just wanna dodge that last dude. Why does it look like that she has a Eldar shuriken launcher? Because she does. That's I don't know the lore on her. That's really. Dirge no Singer. Inquisitor, that's it. Yeah, the Inquisitor is usually like, a lot of times they'll take like artifacts and stuff and use them that they like find in their travels. And uh, hers is uh, like a relic shuriken catapult, which is like really strong. Uh, we'll just edge we'll this guy over here. I think I might pull Draxus back a little bit just to maintain coherency. Boop. Um, and then this guy will go over here too. 
So theoretically, we'll have line of sight to that guy. Cool spears, but only two of your uh, your guys will be able to shoot back at me. Um, would you like to overwatch? Yes, I am, and I'm going to have only two of them, you said? Yeah, these are two guys. Um, uh, the Lord can see me too, but he doesn't have a gun. So just these two guys yeah. will be able to shoot. Roll it up. Get her done. Yep. I'm just pulling up the data sheet in my phone. Yep. Okay, so lethal hits. Uh, but you Damn. get to re-roll, I believe, because I'm on an objective. Yes. Two lethal hits. Okay. Strength five, AP two, damage two. Um, yeah, so I'll take it. I'm on this guy, I think. Um, and I will roll two, three up saves because I'm covered. Okay. <laughs> Double one. Way to go, team. Uh, I might see if you one of those, actually. What do I need? I need ignore cover here for one. And that's, like, all I'm doing. So I will see if you one of those. I would rather not lose an entire custodian guard. Do we roll triple ones? Can we go for the three? Nah, okay. He lives on one. Boop. Cool. Oops. All right. That is it for my movement, besides my risk reinforcements. Let's drop the Calidus in the middle to cleanse. Boop. Alrighty. Um, so cleanse here and here. Doesn't she have a Necron phase sword as a weapon? Yep. Yeah, that's uh, they used to like ignore invulnerable saves, but they don't do that anymore. Now they're just lethal hits. Because they could like go through shields and stuff, I think was the, the lore. Um, Something or other. All right. The can you see the Lord? Yeah. So uh, we'll do this cool thing first. I'll pay a CP to get uh, ignore cover. Um, these three will shoot you because this guy's behind the wall, so you can't see. Um, and we'll shoot. Are you shooting? We're shooting the locust destroyers. Okay. Uh, so here are my attacks. So I have three, three, uh, three guardian spears. Um, from the custodian guard. They hit on twos, uh, and they wound on fives, but because I'm holding an objective with the unit, which is why that guy's trailed back, I get to reroll my wound rolls. So it's four saves, AP one, ignore cover. How many rolls was it? Uh, four saves, please. Uh, it'd be AP one, so on a four up. Just one? Only one failed. Two damage. Um, here's Draxus's... Uh, Psychic Tempest. Six shots, sustain two. Uh, so no sustain, just add. These, uh, your toughness six, toughness five, toughness six. All right, so these went on fours. Are you rolling? So three more saves. That's IP zero. So just on your three up. All good. I'll save. And then her gun. Oh, I have plus one to hit. That should be on twos. Oops. That's okay. Uh, that misses. This is on fives. Sixes are dead. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, nice. Real quick. What's up? With, are you allowed to do two attacks if one of them's psychic? Yep. Like pistol? Uh, psychic has literally no rules associated with it. <laughs> psychic is only ever interacts with other rules. Oh, damn. Yeah, psychic doesn't do anything. So uh, it's just one... Um, just one on your armor save. That's a really bad roll. Okay, so one, one three up. I need. Yep. Got him. That is a one. So just kill that guy. He's gonna be coming back. Don't worry. Okay. Um, why won't this dice lie? Okay, there it is. Uh, all right. I will use their once per game ability to do it again. Um. So here are the um, custodies. Two miss. Uh, these hit. Uh, wound on fives. Rerolling. Uh, two more. AP one. Ignore cover. How many? Well, how many rolls do I need to make? Uh, two. Um, AP one. So you'll be on a four up. Okay. Oh, save. 
Uh, and then Draxis, here's her sustain gun. I'm gonna remember I hit on twos here. Beep. Oh boy. All right, well, there we go. I get six additional hits. One's on fours? Really? Okay. Um, seven on your three up. Three go through. So they're two damage each, so we'll kill one and do two damage to the other one. And then her gun uh, hits every time. One's on fives. Uh, okay. Uh, one devastating, so just do two mortal wounds to that guy, that last guy. Sick. Good job, team. All right, then that unit is now gone forever. They ain't coming back. Got them. Um, all right, and then we'll just roll out some grav tanks. Uh, Into the void. Um, we'll just like see what we do on the void dragon here. So this guy will shoot you. He has benefit of cover. Uh, yeah, all my guns have an AP, so I think he'll just be on your end wall either way. Um, here's my laser beam. Pew. Ew. Ha! Wounds on three. Three rolling. One wound. On your end bone save, please. Okay, on a four up. Sick. That's a one, so how much damage? Uh, So it's eight, have to four. Okay, so I just need to roll four, feel no pains on... On oh, Mr. Voidy Boy. On five up. The Voidy Boy. So I just need to roll four fives. All right, well, oh, damn, that's actually enough. pretty good. Okay, so one failed. The low gun. How much damage? Uh, That was the damage. Two, one damage done? Yeah, after all the... Yeah, so the, it was it was four after your half, and then you roll the feel no pain against those four. Okay, I was, I'm still trying to learn the feel no pain. Yeah, yeah, it's just that each time you take a damage, you have a chance to not take it instead. It's not like a save. It's a it's like an ignore damage. Like if you make if you make a save, you ignore all the damage from the attack. A feel no pain is against each individual one of those damage. Gotcha. Um, uh, we got two wounds from the Lastrum Bolt Cannon. Uh, just save one. Okay, I'm gonna roll the invul. On Man, TTS up. is really hitching. This is like super annoying. Just one one, one damage from that. Okay, so I'm going to roll Feel No Pain 5 up. Yeah, we got one. Um, Congratulations, from 12 to 10. This guy can see nothing, so he'll try to shoot you too. Pew. This one. On uh, threes. You're rolling. Uh, three more. Invuln saves, please. Two pass, one fail. Uh, seven damage down to four after you have it. Because it rounds up, so it'd go to three and a half. And then from three and a half to four. So take three. And then my little baby gun. Baby gun, go. Nothing. Cool. Uh, this guy can literally only see this Locust Lord, so he'll shoot that guy. Here's my laser beam. Two, uh, two saves uh, and you're in bone. Okay, one failed. One goes I'm going to do a command reroll. Sure. Nice. Another one. Nice. Do I get him? Six damage. Uh, that's all my shooting if you want to resurrect okay, him, he's actually. Dead. Do you, want, you say? do you want to resurrect him? Well, I can't do that unless I'm in my command phase. Uh, so you have a stratagem when your character dies to bring him back. Oh, yeah. Let me see her. Let me pull it up. Because that's my last attack. Like, <laughs> So he'll definitely live. <laughs> If I uh, if I had any charges or anything on him, I would get him. Like I could get him. But... Okay, I'm gonna pop a CP then. Yeah, yeah, that's that's correct. Then you have a guy over here who can like fight Drexus or whatever. And he now has three wounds left, right about there-ish. Cool, love it. All right, um, I'll charge with the custodian guard onto the immortals. Boop. Four. Oh, well, we do make it. We just don't make it. It's just not exciting. That's okay. I think we'll be fine. 
Uh, base you... If I go here... Can we fight off that guy? Seven point one, really? If I go there, can we fight off that guy? Oh, now it's measuring from the top. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get we'll get three guys in. Dash fine. Let's move Draxus first. Come on, TTS, TTS. Holy shit! This is so freezy. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, he'll go there. Okay. Um. They, uh, this guy's gotta chase the team. Guys, come back! Alright, they'll fight. Um. I, with well, this guy, can go here. This guy can go here. Draxus can go here, and this guy will just follow and be be the odd man out. All right. Uh, um, that's all the charges I'm going to do. So they'll fight. I'll choose sustained hits for my martial kata. The custodian guards. Um, there are three of them. So you get 15. Hitting on twos. Yeah. Those go away. Except they come back because I have two sixes. So those are my sustained hits. I am strength seven... So I wound on threes and I reroll because I now hold the objective. Ooh. Uh, so 15 AP2 saves. Um, the Plasmancer has an in, in, said. Yeah. Plasmancer has an invulnerable save, right? I believe so. Uh, oh, not according to the yellow scribe, I guess. Three, four, five, six. Okay, let me uh, let me look it up real quick. Yeah, you might just have to roll. It says okay, Plasmancer does not have an interval. Uh, okay, so you have three guys with a three plus save, so it probably just like makes sense to roll them first. Uh, oh, well, that'll do it anyway. <laughs> five so five ones will get them. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. He still got the roll warden and Plasmancer. Uh, no, that'll kill the whole unit. They're two damage okay. each. So the first two fails will kill these two, and then uh, I only need four to kill the other two. Um, okay. Into the void. We'll just go like this towards the objective marker so everyone's in cover. And I think we'll call it a day. That's my turn. So I'll get cleanse on these two objectives for four points. Four points. Uh, uh, this, oh, I got 10 at the start. I'll get four for cleanse. Uh, this defense stronghold will score me three points if I hold my home objective at the end of your turn. Already, I am going to draw my secondaries. Sure. Engage okay, it looks like secure no man's land. Control one objective marker in no man's land. That is technically a possibility. Yep. Yeah, as long as you clear this, you'll get at least two. So okay, uh, and engage in all fronts. Within three different table quarters. I don't think I'm going to get that one. I'm just going to leave it and sure. recycle it for the CP. You do have a bunch of command points. You could you could try to get a different... If you got assassinate this turn, it'd be pretty good, I think. Um... Because you have like a you have like a lot of yeah. command points, I think. That's I'm gonna redraw that then. Yeah, I think that's gonna, the right call. Well, I'm gonna uh, if I discard it, then I draw another one. That'll cost me one. That'll cost you right. one, yeah. And we're we're on yeah. battle round four, so you're you're only gonna get a limited number of like a, a secondary attempts to score secondaries. I got Except, sabotage. Okay, that's doable. That's an action. Um, as long as you're outside your deployment zone and touching terrain, you can do it. And it ends I on do. my turn. You get three points. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. Uh, can you turn off the deployment zones? It's kind of glitching out. Um, it might be because of that. Thank you. Yeah, so I I think like you could attempt it with the Void Dragon might be the best if you don't want to charge with them. It's like a nine. Uh, okay, I'm going to have him move up six. Well, I need to roll reanimation. Yeah, let's reanimate some guys. Yep, and for him too. 
Yes, I'm going to do it for the Void Dragon first, actually. One. I'm rolling bad if I, <laughs> because I didn't bring the golden dice. Three, so he's back at full That's health. True. That's true, chat. Why? What have I done? And I'm going to have these oh. move. I like these Telemons. I wish there was like a... Eight. I wish there was a like a plus AP. Like, I don't even know about AP, but like a... I don't know. Gonna have the Locust Lord move. Like plus two attacks on the charge or and something strat. Eight. Like I wish I wish there was a strat that would make them do more damage. Like you can tank shock with them. That right there is eight. He cannot be targeted by the tanks. But and there's that should not. be a pretty simple move. Sad. Charge. This is the new detachment. Yeah, we're playing this I'm one. Going to have the All my dreadnoughts died. <laughs> Except for this one. He's hiding. <laughs> I'm gonna pop the But the Caladius crab tanks have just been sitting behind them I and killing everyone, so. Check. It's been pretty good. My poor telemonsters, chat. I'm so sad. I'm going to pop the Veil of Darkness. Well, well, actually, let me check the Veil of Darkness to make sure I'm doing it right. I think it's end of my turn when you do it. Oh, yeah, end of opponent's turn, so I can't. Yeah, I don't know, because it would be tough to get to these objectives. You could maybe, like, charge gonna, onto I, this one. I was going to pop it right here and then fire into the grav tanks. Oh, uh, yeah, you can see this one anyway, though, if you just move. Okay, I'll, I'm going to move these guys. I'll give you the line. The line to this grav tank is, like... Or I could fire this. into the custodians and w yeah. narrow them down. Okay, I'm going to move them eight when I stop lagging. I know, it's so crazy. Jesus. That's the price of not paying for GW's minis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes we get a little like, uh, yeah. I think it's that All Tuesday, four of them can see shooting these guys. The except for the Locust Lord. Yeah. He doesn't have a ranged weapon anyway. Cool. And now I'm gonna leave those immortals right there because they don't really, they can't really compete with anything. Yep. Do you wanna and do you wanna nudge the Scorpic Lord so he can shoot me too? Because if he shoots and he kills, he has a one damage gun, so he could kill that guy. And then these guys, if they convert, they just one shot. All right, sure. I'm gonna have him right there. Then I'm gonna do the shooting phase now. Cool. With the Locust Lord, little Scorpic Lord. Sweet. Let's see if we can get one. Two attacks on two up. Paid the latency price. Make one. Did you play the gold price or the latency right, price, so chat? Nice. The six, I believe. Yep, should be yep, a four. So on fours. Oh no. Sad. All right, then I'm gonna have the. Hmm. Nope. He could shoot his storm at me. I think is what he could do. That's eighteen. And inches. also, I, he has an ability that's within eighteen. Uh, no, within 12 for the yeah. matter absorption. Yeah, I'm going to do Voltaic Storm into the Caladius Grav Tank. Sick. D6 plus 3 and sustained hits 2. Oh! Nine shots, I make let's nine go. attacks. Okay, nine attacks, sustained hits 2 on 2 up. Cocoon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why, boy dragon? <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> okay, now strength seven uh, is toughness ten, so it should be fives. Two, boop. Uh, I did get cover, so I'm on two. AP one, damage two. One. He's okay. Fives and six. Okay, I'm going to have the heavy destroyers. Yep. Fire everything into the Custodian Guards and Inquisitor Draxus. Cool. Well, actually, I'm going to have... Yeah, I'm going to fire all three. So three attacks on three up at lethal hits. Mm -hmm. Damn. Well, add one to the hit roll because it can't... Yeah, you hit on twos. Um, yeah, you're good. Um, And then... Four, oh, yeah, your so lethal's long. against vehicles. Twos. Oh, no, you get a lethal hit. Yes. So, well, you don't so, have to roll on that. Yeah. Okay, now on twos. Twos. Big twos. When it stops lagging. 
One. One fails. No CP it. AP four, damage six. Get real that one. If you want. Uh, so two saves on four ups. One dies. Popped him. Popped him like a balloon. Okay, now... I think that's it for the shooting. Cool. Now for the charge. I'm going to have these... Locust Lord move into Inquisitor Draxus. Let's do it. Actually, ah, uh, no, that's 14, not 12. Okay, so I just need to 5 to get into engagement range with the Custodian. Mm -hmm. Well, for, it's technically 5.4. Would we round up or down? Uh, so you um, engage if you are within an inch. So as long as you move 5 inches, you'll be within an inch of me. So charges also basic, always basically need like 1 inch I less got a seven. than they look like. So you're, yeah, so in that case, you just have to base me, one of these two. Just go base base. Want to try it with these guys? Big Niner? Yeah, we'll go for it. If we get the Lord, that'd be sweet. I guess if you wanted to. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm going to command reroll. Yeah. I got nothing to lose. Okay. Damn. Sag. Okay, then time for the fight phase. But did you want to move the Void Dragon? He can't really do anything. Okay. Alright, hit me with that Devastating Sword. Dev Wounds attacks four. You could if you wanted to. You could Epic Challenge Draxus. <laughs> um, I think she only has a 5 plus and Vulnerable save, so she's much easier to kill than the Custodians. Yeah, I'm gonna do epic challenge. Fuck it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you wound on threes, and yeah, just two swings, will, two conversions will kill. No, it says wounds on two for the Lord's Blade. Uh, the you you I mean, I, I, you still six skill. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm talking about the wound. Yeah. Nailed it. Okay, this all those hit. Uh, and I just need strength eight three, and dev wounds. Yep. Oh no! AP three damage two. You want to reroll one? I I'm not gonna. Okay, so just one on. Uh, do you want to put it on Draxus or on the unit? You can choose. Draxus. Okay. Uh, I spent that CP for the precision. I'm gonna use precision. Let's do it. I will take a five up save. I fail. I'll take two damage. Ouch. Ouchie. Um, I'll hit you back, I guess. Uh -uh. Let's get over here. Hello. All right, we'll hit you. I'll choose sustained hits. Um, here is the custodians. Get three back. Threes. Rerolling because I'm on objective. Come on. Come on. There it goes. Uh, 14 saves. AP2. Custodians hit so fucking hard, Chad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I, don't get, I don't get this, like, this is about a melee damage. I'm going to use like. the invul save so it's on four ups. Yep. That's a lot of fucking four ups, but that's a lot of ones. Uh, yeah, on two damage each. So, Stab he him. dead. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Uh, I can't really do anything with my consolidate. I'll just go like this, I guess. Yeah, not to change. Nice. I'll go there. I'll go there. All right. Um, is that back to me? Yep. Right, okay, well. now for uh, I need to do my victory points. Yeah. Uh, it's five, because I had that objective right there in the back. Yep, we should have five at the start.
And uh, I don't think I did sabotage or secure no man's land. No. Nope. Yeah. Sabotage is a tough one. You can probably. So I'm gonna. Uh, so if I discard them, I get command points back. Uh, yeah, you get one if you discard any number. It's not one for each, unfortunately. Gotcha. All I right. was hoping. Yeah. Yeah. I was uh, unfortunate on his wound roll there. I think it, it would have been tough to wipe the unit with just the destroyers. I think if you'd gotten both lords in, that would have looked a lot better. Um, All right. I'm going to draw both secondary secure and extend uh which i will get without doing anything and i'll score three uh uh so i will simply chillax i guess um i don't really need to attack you so we'll just run back i need to put some uh, keep something on this objective i'll keep the calidus there um and I'll push. I'll push this Caladius for for all the good it's gonna do me. Go get him, boy. We. You can't. I'm not visible to the grav tank. I believe. The boy dragon. Yeah, I can see it like that. Um, and then this guy will just go over here. Hmm. -mm. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, thanks for the uh, YouTube videos on how to get Force Org set up and everything. That 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 uh, that made me so I could get into this hobby. Oh hell yeah, yeah. Because honestly, I'm tired of pe wasting my paycheck on models because I'm a shit painter. Yeah, it's expensive. And I'm not for sure. And I'm not gonna pay someone to paint them because that's even more expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it, and it's like you don't have to you don't have to go to the game store and you don't have to like set up terrain all that stuff. Um, it's tough so to I get. Be even more of a social recluse. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I will tow a custodian onto the objective here, so I get rerolls with their guns. Um, I'll just go to shooting. Uh, I have secure and extend, so Calatus actually doesn't need to stay there. She can just hang out back here. Um, I will shoot. I'll shoot the void dragon with my grab tank. I'd say minus one for a for cover. Uh, yeah, your your inbound save is is gonna be better regardless. So the cover actually doesn't matter for him. So be four saves on you, with from the lasers. Zorp. Two. Uh. How much damage is that? Uh, this one deals two. This one deals four. So six damage total. You'll be okay. just fine. Unless my little gun gets you. That would be wild. So just take five. There's my little gun. I missed one. I failed one. All right, cool. Good job, team. Uh, these guys will shoot the destroyers. Um, I'll pay a CP to ignore cover. What a strat. I love it. Um, three custodian guards. Ew. Oop, that was not a reroll. That missed. Uh, five smooth rerolling because I have an objective. Uh, two AP one. Ignore cover onto the locust destroyers or the heavy destroyers. AP one, you said. Yep. So it should be on. Uh, four, four attacks. Ups. Yeah. Uh, just two. Just two. Blam. Two damage. Yeah. Uh, Draxus's weird psychic attack. Hey yeah, it's on twos. Let's go away. Uh, these are sustained though. <sighs> these are on fours. Re rolling. Boop, 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 boop. Six EP zero. So just on your three up. As soon as I stop lagging. There it is. Two damage each. So we should kill that guy and do two to another guy. And then her cool shuriken catapult. <laughs> Roll three once to hit. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> uh, two devastating damage. So we'll kill the next guy. Alright. Uh, charges. I'm going to charge him. Yeah. Roll. Roll two ones. Yeah. No. Eight will do. Whee. Whee. 
Whee. Whee. Cool. They'll swing. How many other charges? Um, so, uh, choose sustained hits on my spears. Here's my custodians on twos. Uh, we'll get miss one, but then we get two back for sustains. Wounds on threes. We are laying ones, I believe, is their ability if I'm not touching an objective. Reroll a wound roll of one. Cool. Boop. Uh, so 13 AP2 onto those guys. Could you imagine having an ability that gives you wound rerolls? That'd be wild. Imagine. Imagine having being able to like pick up a dice and then roll it again. Insane. Absolutely ludicrous, chat. Five ups. Absolutely ludicrous. Uh two damage each. We'll get you. Okay, so uh how much damage did Locust Lord take? Uh I'll go into the destroyer. So it would be even if you're just saving on fours, he would take 10. Bonk. Okay, he's dead. All right, that's my whole turn. Um, secure no man's land just makes me hold two in the middle, which I have. And then extend battle lines means I have to hold my home and one in the middle, which I do. So I Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna forfeit because there's nothing I can do. Yep. And anything further would just be a waste of both our times, I think. Yep, that's fair. Yeah, it's the last turn. So. Okay, so I'm going to forfeit by flipping the table. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay, GG. <laughs> I like that the, the fire like very slowly descends. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, good game. Yeah, yeah, thanks for playing, dude. I need to find something other than custodies to play against, though, because the entire time I've been on TTS, it's been nothing but custodies nuts. Yeah, that's just because uh, they they got the new detachment today. It's only, the only reason I was playing them. Yes, I was playing with them yesterday yeah. as well. You might run into them. It's the Butcher 20 in the server. Cool. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Well, thanks for playing, dude. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Appreciate it. All right, then. I'm going to go and find another game. This time, something not against <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Cheers, man. Have a good I'm luck. gonna specifically put that in the message. <laughs> please, please, no more custodians. Cool. Okay, peace out. Yep. Have a good one. You too. All right, chat. We did it. We played a game with the new list. Um, it's interesting. I I don't like. I like the Contemptor Galatus. They have a million attacks. Let me pull up my pull up my new recruit here. They have a million attacks. The, the, the triple grav tanks did feel a little superfluous. Um, um, what's up, kitty cat? The triple grav tanks felt a little superfluous. I almost wonder if you do play the um, adamantine talisman bike captain. Because it's basically just, what's the, um, or the uh, shield host enhancement that people put on bike captains the um, from the Hall of Armories or whatever for the extra damage? Mm -mm -mm. Um, yeah, plus one strength and damage, except it also increases your... Um, it also increases your attacks too. I think that's the correct play because you have a, you then then you have like a faster independent unit that's not like a big punchy Telemon. So I, I would almost cut Galatus for him probably. He goes to like eight attacks. Oh, he only starts at six. Hmm. Goes to seven, eight, two, three. And he's like a hundred and sixty points, whatever, one hundred forty. That would get you 20 points back. If you cut the second Galatus, uh, you'd have 180 to spend. I don't know what you'd use it on. Maybe you cut both the Galatus and one of the um, Palladius Grav Tanks, and you take three Telemonsters. And then... Um, 
I don't know. I guess maybe you could also take like one on a. Maybe we, maybe maybe it, maybe the, the the truth is actually like a contempt or kill us or something. They just seem so slow. I'm not sure. Swap out the Galatus and maybe grab tank for some contemptors. Like regular contemptors. Yeah, I don't hate the regular contemptors. They're just like hard to kill. They just feel so pillow fisted though. Yeah, the ones that come back. Are they cheaper? They're the same as a Galatus. So you could just cut a Galatus. I guess you could cut... You could swap a Galatus and cut a Galatus for the... Um, the the uh, speeder guy, and then you could get another utility unit, like another Witch Seeker unit. That would be pretty useful. All right, chat. I'm going to go ahead and go raiding. Thanks for playing, everybody. Um, I might be live tomorrow. Actually, I'm probably not live tomorrow, but I'll probably be I'll, I'll be back for um, probably on Tuesday, I imagine. So I'll see you then. We're going to go ahead and raid. Let's see. Uh, uh, Sri Pastrami. Scions of War. Scions of War is uh, looks like streaming to GT. So we're going to give them a raid. I'm going to hop off. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Go watch the Circle City Championships, and I'll see you uh, next week. Cheers, everyone.